Hello there, this is Emerald Serpent, uh, and today we are going to be playing uh, what deck that I call Pain Bacon. Uh, it is built around Ilharg the Razebor, uh, one of my favorite cards from War of the Spark, uh, and we are going to be playing it in the beautiful new standard. Uh, Agent of Treachery has been banned, Fires of Invention has been banned, Companions have been nerfed, uh, we are in this wonderful new space where nobody really knows what's good. We have to figure it out all over again. It's like when a new set comes out. Uh, and so we are going to be trying this. Uh, this deck could not compete with Fire's decks uh, just on like mana cheating. Uh, and this deck could not compete with Agent of Treachery, of course, uh, because Agent of Treachery would just steal your big creatures. And this is a big creature heavy deck. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we're looking, our main removal on the deck is going to be Bone Crusher Giant and Domri's Ambush. Uh, actually, there were some changes that I made midway through recording this, uh, which means that this intro is actually being recorded after I've played the games. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you can actually see I added two mountains here, uh, and that's why they're different from the standard Ikoria Mountains. Uh, and so something that actually did come up is Domri's Ambush on a Gilded Goose uh, making it possible to kill someone with a goose. Uh, so look for that. Uh, otherwise we're, we're just trying to get an early Ilherg, preferably with haste, uh, either from Samet or usually from Domri Chaos Bringer or Rhythm of the Wild. Uh, the Sundering Shamans I'm not actually sure about uh, because they were needed before to deal with enchantments. But now there aren't as many enchantments, but they're still useful against Cat Oven, so I'm keeping them in for now. Uh, anyway, uh, hope you guys all have a good day, and I will get into the shenanigans. Hmm. Huh. This is an interesting hand. Uh, I think we're gonna keep it. It is. It does have quite a bit of removal and ramp, uh, so we should be able to survive until we can do something big. Maybe we'll we'll put a counter on our goose and take out a one one. Who knows? Cycling. I think that is what we're doing then, is we are going to put a counter on our goose and take out the one one. <laughs> and then we will attack with the goose. <laughs> Win con right here. And of course, we could have bone crushered it, but that's not nearly as fun as hitting it with a goose, you know? You hoping for another fox? Is that no? All right. Mm. 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 At this point, I think the play is Paradise Druid and it's happening. Yeah. So I'll hit him with that goose. Paradise Druid. Alright, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, not enough for falling in. Uh, but we could play next turn uh, both sides of the Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, that's something that is worth Bone Crushering, you know? Uh, so now we could play Rhythm of the Wild, we could play Bone Crusher Giant, or we could attack with all of the things. 
think we're going to play Rhythm here. Uh, and of course, attack with the goose. Uh, that this is our win con now. We we can't deny that. This. <laughs> oh man. You know, I will often attack with my goose if they're capped out and they don't have any creatures or whatever. You know, when it's a zero two, just a a certain dominance and whatnot. But no, this is this is so much better. Mm. Uh. Interesting. And now we have enough for the mammoth. The mammoth will come down, it will fight the Dranus Stinger, and we will give it haste. Because somewhere in their deck is a Zenith Flare. And we would like them to be dead before they get to it. They might already have it. Yeah. The Zenith Flare the Mammoth. So, I think the play here might be to Bone Crusher with Haste and Paradise with Haste and hit that big attack all button uh, just because we're trying to get him down <laughs> goose um, what are they looking at? We've got eight cards. Alright. So now they're just kind of Zenith flaring to stay alive. Uh, at this point, we'll paste this out. Because uh, that's 10, 14, 15 with the goose. That leaves them once again at 1. So, yeah. They don't have enough for a Zenith player. Uh, can't think of what else they got that would gain them life. So, we are going to kill them with the goose. Ah. Oh. Sweet victory, man. There, There is nothing quite like killing your opponent with something that shouldn't have any power. Alright. Llamas E2. This is a good one. And, uh... If we don't draw another land, we are gonna do what they're doing and crack our Fabled Passage first thing. Alright, so we're going to get a mountain, uh, because Ilhurt requires double red. Uh, and then next turn we'll play Forest and a Paradise Druid. the other mountain in Domri and then no matter and then we'll have our uh, turn for Ilverd, right? Where do you see my mate? 
Well, we could minus there, but really what we're just looking to do is we're trying to make sure Domri survives. We are also uh, we also have Pain Bacon and Ilherd. We we have both of these in our hand. Uh, so we don't actually need to look for more creatures. Uh, if I didn't have Endrace Forerunners in the hand, I probably would minus there. They still haven't added Gyru to their hand. It's still in their companion zone. So we've got, like, another turn at least. Uh, so here, we are going to add a red. Do this. Uh, that gives it Riot. A little bit of haste. We will all attack. We will do the pain bacon. That leaves them at one. And then next turn we can pain bacon again. Yeah, and that was, that was a whiff on their guy, Ruta. So, yeah, they're dead. And that is what the deck is supposed to do. Alright. Zebulonius. That sounds familiar. Uh, I mean, I guess it kind of works, right? Turn 4. Dilhar, if you draw one land. Yeah, we'll keep. Alright, so because that's not a red, uh, we are going to Fable Passage now again to get that red source uh, so that we can cast Ilherg, which requires double red. What is this? Looks like some kind of flying or maybe a draw card deck. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like flying then. Which is a little weird. Most flying decks don't actually run this because Healer's Hawk is just so much better. Play that. We are looking at a turn three nothing. Well, I guess we could play a Domri's ambush and then have the Paradise Druid kill. Oh nope. Perfect. Play Red into the Wild. Next turn, we have a turn four Ilharg with haste, bringing up a Thorn Mammoth, which can kill something that has fly like an Elite Guard Mage. Man, excellent. And what's nice about Rhythm of the Wild uh, is that it prevents things from being countered. But also, when you bring stuff in with Ilher, you can give it a plus one, plus one. Uh, when you bring stuff in with Ilher's ability, you can still give it a plus one, plus one, uh, because it doesn't need haste, because it's brought in attacking. So, yeah. 